Hey guys, this is going to be a super fast video. I'm just going to show you how to strip wires, how to put on butt splices. We're also going to talk about heat shrink and I'm going to talk about landing wires into terminals in a panel. I want to kind of give you the way that I do it, I find it very easy, and I'll also tell you guys how to do it safely. So let's get right into it. This is how I personally strip wires. There's many ways to do it, but I'll hold the wire with one hand. I'll put this in here. There's little numbers on your strippers that tell you which side, which hole to use. I don't usually look. And I'll hold the wire with one hand. I wiggle my other hand, and then I just kind of push it across. Bear in mind that if that, power, that wire is energized, that could be hazardous. So generally, you want to pull a fuse or turn off your panel unless you absolutely need to keep it hot. In which case, there's, you know, safe ways to do it. Then to add your butt splice on, as you can see, this is a red butt splice. That's for 22 gauge to 18 gauge wire. And inside this butt splice, there's a little metal ring. And we're actually going to be crimp, we're going to be putting the wire into that ring and crimping it. And these are a pair of crimping wire strippers. Um, there's also stake on pliers. That's primarily made for crimping uh, then this right here this is heat shrink so you take your heat shrink you put it over your butt splice over your wire and then you know once once you get everything spliced you can heat that that heat shrink up and it will shrink and create a good seal around that wire and around the butt splice obviously you want to make sure you got a pretty good seal make sure you cover the butt splice entirely it's going to prevent water from getting into your connection so next up i want to look at this for 14 or 16 gauge wire, you're going to be using a blue butt splice. And again, you can look at the numbers on the wire strippers, but you don't have to. This form that I'm using for stripping is just something that I've learned over the years is what works for me. And you just kind of wiggle forward and back and then create a little bit of pressure. You can use your thumb from the hand that's using the wire if needed and just push the other hand away from you. Yeah, make sure there's no whiskers popping out. And you take your uh, crimping tool. Put your butt splice, put your wire in your butt splice, and just squeeze down your crimping tool. And the most important part whenever you crimp a wire is always do a little tug test. Pull on it. Make sure it's not coming out. Make sure there's no copper exposed. You don't want to see any copper. And something that's kind of interesting is, I was telling you guys about that heat shrink tubing, but some of these butt splices are actually heat shrink butt splices. Generally, those are more clear. They kind of look like a gelatin material. And you use a heat gun, which is kind of like a hair dryer that's hotter. Or if you don't have access to a heat gun, you can use a lighter. And just keep that flame pretty far away from your, you know, either shrinkable butt splice or your heat shrink. And you just want to get it warm enough so that it compresses and creates a good seal. I might as well mention wire nuts as well. You want to get those wires pretty even. And the inside of the wire nut is threaded, so you want to make sure both wires get into that thread. Give it, and you twist it under pressure. And then when you're done, make sure that those wires are secure. Give it the tug test. I generally generally wrap some tape with a, with a buddy tag is what we call it. The buddy tag on there for easy removal. Wrap some tape around there. And if you're in a uh, real wet environment, you can use splicing tape. It's a little bit thicker, a little bit um, stretchier, and you would use that splicing tape with the electrical tape over it. And if you're doing motor hardware, like bolts, you got like ring connectors and bolts, you're bolting them together. Throw some cambric tape, then splicing tape, then electrical tape. So then, and that red, blue, yellow is pretty common. You'll see that, that used in things like wire nuts as well. But yeah, red is small, blue is medium. Uh, yellow is large. The next skill I want to talk about is landing landing wires in um you know in terminals in a panel. It sounds self-explanatory, but it's really not. I always remember safety first. You're going to kill the power if you have the ability to. Um, if you're not a professional, you know, um, whenever I'm working on anything hot, I always just use one hand at a time. That way, there is no opportunity for anything to flow through me. I'll show you my secret trick. To, uh, land a, to land a terminal in a box. So I take the wire and I bend it. I bend it at a 90 degree angle. And then I, you know, put my fingers a couple inches up the wire and that way I can kind of just 
stick that little 90 degree angle in there where the terminal is. I can feel around till I feel the opening and then I can kind of wiggle and shimmy upwards until I'm inside of the terminal. And then with my other hand, I can get my little terminal screwdriver. You want to get the type of screwdriver that has this, this spinny part on the back so you can easily tighten it down with one hand. And that's what I do. So I wiggle it in there and with the other hand, I screw down my, my terminal. And this is an important part. If you guys work with control wire terminals, you don't have to put a whole lot of pressure on it. I'll put a little um, graphic on the screen of what you're supposed to do for a control wire, like, you know, 16 gauge wire terminals, whatever, something that's mounted on a DIN rail on a terminal block. You just want to get it nice and snug, and then you want to tug on that wire and make sure it can't pop out. And then take another visual check, make sure there's no whis whiskers popping out. That's about it, man. I just want to share with you guys, you know, some of the things I've learned that will help you, you know, strip wires, two butt splices, and land terminals easier, faster, and more professionally.